One thing I'll never understand is why people find a reason to hate on pretty much every single pet sim update. I mean, yeah, the updates can get repetitive if they do the same thing over and over again. I do get that. I'm not saying that that's out of the question. I mean, Big Games has done a ton of repetitive updates before, but they're not all like bad. I mean, some content in them is good, but it's the hate for this update that I just don't get. This Elemental World came out yesterday at the time of filming, and a lot of people have been hating on it, and I just don't see a reason for it. I'm gonna go to the Pet Simulator News account right here. They tweeted out thoughts on the Elemental World update. Now, I'm gonna scroll down and read some of these, but some of them I'm not gonna show just because they have, like, bad words or something like that, and I try to keep that out of my videos unless it's, like, a crazy issue, so... I'll only show you some of them, but if you want to go on Twitter and find this tweet and look through all of them, you can. So this guy said, stop copying other games and actually do something innovative. I mean, you all have one of the most popular games right now and one of the most popular studios on Roblox. You're surely capable of doing something good rather than constant slop. It's not all constant slop, I'll say that, but it's like, for this update especially, and I'll, I'll go over why I think this update is actually really good after I read some of these. But, I mean, this is one example. Another one, update is just not for me. I'm not going to waste running around to find them all because it's so boring. Another one, mid, not original. Not original, L, this isn't Pokemon. Like, all this other stuff. Bad update, literally pay to win. The cubes are in the forever pack. I can kind of see this one a little bit, but you can get the cubes free to play as well pretty easily. It's a rip-off pet catchers, reminds me of the RNG update incident. There's a lot more too, but I won't go over everything. So you guys saw those comments, right? Everyone has been hating on this update. Now there are some good comments in there sprinkled around, and like I said, y'all can go and look at that if you want to on Twitter. Now I think this update is actually really good because it's introduced something new to the game that I didn't think they would ever do before, and that's like you run around, you catch pets, and someone said this isn't Pokemon. Honestly, I just don't know what they're thinking because I think it's a really, really cool feature. In my opinion, I really don't care that they ripped off Pokemon on this one because it's honestly really even not that similar to Pokemon. Someone said it's a rip off pet catchers. It's really not if you think about it too because it's just like a small part of the game. And again, to me anyways, it's entertaining. We also have this big chest right here which can help you get more huge pets. And it's introduced a team working aspect in here, which is good. I actually haven't even been AFKing hatching this egg at all. I've just kind of been going around breaking the chests and then also catching these pets. It's actually been a pretty fun two days so far. So I don't know. The people that are hating on this update might just be playing it wrong. I didn't mention the claim battle and some people are going to come after me for that. They're going to be like, oh, but what about the claim battle? It's pay to win. You can't AFK at all this other stuff. But if you think about it, that's really the only bad part of the update. I, I, I will agree, the clan battle's bad, right? But they've never done a good clan battle. I will say that confidently. Even the ones that you think were good, I think are bad. They've never done a good clan battle, so get over it. Oh, and then also I was able to make a ton of gems off of this update. I made a video yesterday on it. And it, the gem method, it doesn't work anymore because the cubes are nowhere near as expensive anymore. The regular cubes are like 15k gems now. And then I think the ultras, I mean the ultras are actually still pretty expensive. But while the cubes were expensive, I was able to get myself about 250 million diamonds because I grinded it all day. And also people will say that it's repetitive because it's another void world. You just have to go through the areas and then AFK the egg. But like I said before, I haven't even really been AFKing the egg much. And then also when you're getting the cubes and when you're breaking the chest, it always keeps you on your toes because you could get a huge pet. And it's honestly a lot more fun way to get a huge pet as well than hatching. So yeah, I just don't really understand the hate for this update. And that's all I really wanted to talk about. That is going to be it for this video. See you, everybody.